Good morning. I'm Pastor Dave. And I'm Colleen. Welcome to Faith Baptist Church. If you're visiting with us today, we want to meet you. Please take a moment to fill out the white card in the seat in front of you and turn it in at the welcome desk in the lobby. Our worship will begin shortly. Thank you so much for joining us today. everybody. Welcome to Faith Baptist Church. In our pastor's class this morning, we're going to be continuing in church history, looking at several different heresies from the past. In our Wednesday night Bible study this week, Pastor Dave is going to be starting a series on the mysteries of salvation. Our Thursday men's group just finished up our study on Jude. This coming week, we're going to be starting in the book of First Peter. It's an exciting book, so I hope if you're able, you can join us. In our Saturday morning prayer group, remember, we meet in the foyer at 9 a.m. sharp. Be sure to mark your calendars for Awana Registration Night, which is September 7th from 6.30 to 8 p.m., and the first night of club, which is September 14th. So once again, as you can see, there are plenty of learning opportunities and fellowship opportunities here at Faith Baptist Church. For more information, you can check out our website at fbcsarasota.com, or you can find us on Facebook, too. Remnant Cafe is a very worthy outreach to feed the homeless here in Sarasota. We have a few teams that cook in the kitchen once every three months. It takes just a few hours, so if you have time, it's a great way to serve. We're looking for bakers as well, so if that's something you enjoy doing, you may want to consider that. This month for Remnant Cafe, our menu is chicken wings with carrots and celery with ranch dip, as well as tater tots. So we are looking for donations from the church family of carrots and celery and tater tots. If you can help with this, please see us at the information and service desk. Thank you very much. As you know, it's a new month. It is September, and with a new month comes a new book review. This month's book review is called Discipling by Mark Dever. If you ever wanted to be discipled or wanted to learn how to disciple somebody else, I think this is a great resource for you. Check it out and let me know what you think. Hi folks, I'm Jerry Daniels. Me and my wife Sherry have been Faith Baptist Church supported missionaries in Kenya, Africa for almost 50 years. And it's just so exciting to be a member now of a church that has a commitment to missions. This whole month, we're emphasizing worldwide missions. Each uh, Sunday, we'll be showing a different video. We'll be trying to get more information. So today, we're emphasizing two fields, two regions of the world, Latin America and Middle East. And the need is just so great in both of these areas. In the bulletin today, you'll notice that there is a little prayer guide a uh, seven-day prayer guide. Every day we would I ask you to look at this and uh, pray for this partic these particular regions of the world. There's also a QR code next to each one of them. They'll take you to a little two-minute video. But it'll give you more information, and I hope it'll be a blessing to open your eyes to the great need of the world. Jesus was very clear about the need for missions. He said in, in Matthew chapter 9 and verse 37, 38, where he said, The harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Then he went on to say in verse 38, and that's where we get the 938 project that we've been talking about. He said in verse 38, pray ye there lo the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into the harvest field. But we just need to be faithful in praying and supporting and commitment to worldwide missions. That was important to Jesus. You'll find a missions table set up out in the foyer. Embry Bolton and I will be out there and we'll be available to answer your questions, give you more information. Thank you, folks. The Baptist Bible Fellowship International has had missionaries in Latin America from its beginning. And yet, there are millions of people who do not have a clear understanding of the gospel. There are still unreached peoples in the Andes Mountains and in the various jungles. There are also many mega cities with their millions of people. Who will take the gospel to these cities and mountain ranges? The Middle East is where the gospel message had its beginnings. 
yet it's considered today as the least evangelized region in the entire world. Due to extreme conditions and security matters, the Middle East is home to the least number of our missionary force. It's imperative that we significantly increase our efforts to reach people who are in desperate situations. Will you go?